Good morning children. Welcome back. In today's session we are going to do the evaluation of class 6 unit 1 what is history. Before going into the evaluation let us have an idea about the history. The history is classified into prehistoric, protohistoric and historic period. Prehistoric period is where no written records are available. Protohistoric period is where in which written records are available not of that culture but other cultures have it. Historic period is one in which the written records are available. The sources of history can be classified as archaeological sources and literary sources. The archaeological sources include artifacts, monuments, inscriptions and coins. Archaeological sources include artifacts, monuments, inscriptions and coins. The artifacts may be potteries, toys, tools etc. Inscription may be on rock, temple walls, metals or on copper plates. The monuments could be palaces, forts, temples and monasteries. The literary sources could be of two types. One is the secular literature, other one is the religious literature. The secular literature can be in the form of epics and poems, account by foreign travelers, works of Indian authors, folk songs and ballets. The religious literature can be epics or devotional literature. Epics could be Ramayana and Mahabharata. Devotional literature could be Devaram, Nalaira, Deva Prabandham, etc. Come children, let us do the evaluation. Roman number 1, choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Question number 1, what was the step taken by the early man to collect his food? What was the step taken by the early man to collect his food? The options are A. Trade. Option B. Hunting. Option C. Painting. Option D. Rearing of animals. The options are trade, hunting, painting, rearing of animals. The answer is B. Hunting. Hunting was a step taken by the early man to collect his food. Roman number 2. Match the statement with the reason. Tick the appropriate answer. The statement. Prehistoric man went along with the dog for hunting. Prehistoric man went along with the dog for hunting. The reason dogs with its sniffing power would find out other animals. Dogs with its sniffing power would find out from other animals. Options are A. Statement is true but reason is wrong. Option B. Statement and reason are correct. Option C. Statement is wrong and reason is correct. Option D. Both statements and reasons are wrong. The answer is statement and reason are correct. Man went along with the dog for hunting because dog with its sniffing power would find out other animals. Question number two. Statement. The objects used by the early man are excavated. They are preserved to know the lifestyle of people. Find out which of the following is related to the statement. I repeat, the objects used by the early man are excavated. They are preserved to know the lifestyle of the people. Find out which of the following is related to the statement. Options are A. Museum Option B. Burial materials Option C. Stone tools Option D. Bones can you tell me which is the answer? The answer is right. Answer is A. Museum. They are preserved in the museums. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फाइंड आउट द रॉन्ग पै फाइंड आउट द रॉन्ग पै ए ओल्ड स्टोन एज स्टोन टूल्स बी रॉक पेंटिंग्स वॉल्स ऑफ द केव ऑप्शन सी कॉपर प्लेट्स अ सोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑप्शन डी कैप्स फर्स्ट डोमेस्टिकेटेड I repeat option A old stone age stone tools rock paintings walls of the caves copper plates source of history cats first domesticated now the wrong pair is option D cats first domesticated cats were not the first animal to be domesticated it was dogs all the others are correct Moving on to question number four. Find out the odd one. Find out the odd one. A. Paintings were drawn on rocks and caves. B. There were paintings depicting hunting scenes. C. It was drawn to show his family members about hunting. Option D. Paintings were painted by using many colors. The options are option A paintings were drawn on rocks and caves there were paintings depicting hunting scenes it was drawn to show his family members about hunting option D the paintings were painted by using many colors and the answer is option D paintings were painted by using number 3 fill in the blanks roman number 3 fill in the blanks Question number one: The old Stone Age man lived mostly in dash. The old Stone Age man lived mostly in dash. The answer is caves. C A V E S caves. C A V E S caves. Question number two: Dash is the father of history. Dash is the father of history. The answer is Herodotus. Herodotus, H E R O D O T U S. Herodotus. Herodotus. Herodotus is the father of history. Herodotus is considered as the father of history because it was he who collected and systematically documented events. and created an account his book is known as the histories that's why he is known as the father of history question number 3 dash was the first animal tamed by old stone age man dash was the first animal tamed by old stone age man the answer is dog d o g dog dog was the first animal tamed by old stone age man question number 4 inscriptions are dash sources inscriptions are dash sources they are archaeological sources archaeological a r c h a e o l o g i c a l archaeological A R C H A E O L O G I C A L archaeological question number 5 ashoka chakra has dash spokes ashoka chakra has dash spokes the answer is 24 ashoka chakra has 24 spokes moving on to roman number 4 state true or false state true or false question number 1 stone tools belonging to old stone age have been excavated at athirampakkam near chennai stone tools belonging to old stone age have been excavated at athirampakkam near chennai the answer is true question number 2 
Materials used by the ancient people are preserved in museums by the archaeological department. Materials used by the ancient people are preserved in the museums used by the archaeological department. The answer is true. Question number 3. During the period of Ashoka, Buddhism spread across the country. During the period of Ashoka, Buddhism spread across the country. The answer is true. Moving on to Roman number 5 match the following. Roman number 5 match the following. The questions are A. Rock paintings, copper plates, written documents, the most famous king, Ashoga, Devaram, religious literature, to understand the lifestyle. I repeat, question A, rock paintings, copper plates. Option B, written records, the most famous king. Option C, Ashoka, Devaram. And option D, religious literature, to understand the lifestyle. And the answers are, rock paintings, to understand the lifestyle. Written documents, copper plates, Ashoka, the most famous king, religious literature, Devaram. I repeat, rock paintings to understand the lifestyle. Written records, copper plates, Ashoka, the most famous king, religious literature, Devaram. Devara means garland of poems to the Lord. It is the first seven volumes of the Tirumurai, the 12 volume collection of the Saiva devotional poetry. Devaram. Roman number 6, answer in one word. Roman number 6, answer in one word. Question number 1. Can you say any two advantages of writing diary? Can you say any two advantages of writing diary? The answer is we can understand the lifestyle of that period. We can understand the lifestyle. Also, the activities for all of that particular period. And also about the activities of that particular period. Question number two. How do we know the people's lifestyle of the old stone age? How do we know the people's lifestyle? of the old stone age the answer is the lifestyle of the old stone age people can be understood from the stone tools rock paintings fossils and other excavated materials lifestyle of old stone age people can be understood from the stone tools rock paintings fossils and other excavated materials there you can see the picture of the rock tools, the rock paintings and the other materials that are excavated. Moving on to question number 3. Is inscription a written record? Is inscription a written record? The answer is yes. Inscription is a written record. Question number 4. What is a proto-history? What is proto-history? Proto-history is a period between Prehistory and history. Proto history is a period between prehistory and history. That is, it is the period between the prehistory and the earliest recorded history. Period between prehistory and the earliest recorded history is called as a proto history. Moving on to question number five Name an epic. Name an epic an epic is a long narrative poem in a detailed style accounting the deeds of a historical hero or a legendary king that is a long poem written on the on a hero with a series of his great achievements and events can you tell me the name of an epic children yes we have in India, two great epics, the Ramayana by Valmiki and the Mahabharata by Vyasan.
రామాయణ బై వాల్మీకి అండ్ మహాభారత బై వ్యాసన్ మూవింగ్ ఆన్ టు రోమన్ నంబర్ సెవెన్ ఆన్సర్ ద ఫోలోయింగ్ వాట్ ఇస్ హిస్టరీ వాట్ ఇస్ హిస్టరీ ద ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ హిస్టరీ ఇస్ ద స్టడీ ఆఫ్ పాస్ట్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఇన్ క్రోనాలజికల్ ఆర్డర్ హిస్టరీ ఇస్ ద స్టడీ ఆఫ్ పాస్ట్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఇన్ క్రోనాలజికల్ ఆర్డర్ క్రోనాలజికల్ సిహెచ్ ఆరో ఎన్ఓ ఎల్ఓ జిఐ సిఏఎల్ క్రోనాలజికల్ ఆర్డర్ a chronological order is a arrangement of things following one after another in time so what is history history is a study of past events in chronological order moving to question number 2 what do you know about the prehistoric period what do you know about the prehistoric period the period between the use of first stone tools and the invention of writing system is prehistory the period between the use of first stone tools and the invention of writing system is called as a prehistoric period you know children prehistory is a time in which begins with the appearance of the human beings that is about 5 million years ago and ends with the invention of writing around 6000 years ago and it is also divided into three stages the paleolithic age neolithic age and the metal age question number 3 what are the sources available to know about the prehistoric period what are the sources available to know about the prehistoric period the answer is stone tools excavated materials and rock paintings stone tools excavated materials and rock paintings question number 4 mention the places from where we got prehistoric tools mention the places from where we got the prehistoric tools question number 4 mention the places from where we got prehistoric tools mention the places from where we got prehistoric tools answer is bimbetka hunasagi valley adram pakkam bimbetka hunasagi valley adram pakkam the bimbetka is in the central india in the foothills of the vindhya range covering bhopal and some parts of madhya pradesh the hunasagi is in the district of yadgar in karnataka adinabakam is in our tamil nadu in tiruvallur adinabakam is in tamil nadu tiruvallur question number 5 what are the benefits of a museum what are the benefits of a museum the answer Museum is a place where the excavated objects used by early man are exhibited. Museum is a place where the excavated objects used by early man are exhibited. They are preserved to know about the lifestyle of the people. They are preserved to know about the lifestyle of the people. Question number 6. name some tools used by early man to hunt animals name some tools used by early man to hunt animals stones barks of trees sharp flakes and animals bones they are stones barks of trees sharp flakes and animals bones question number 7 why were paintings drawn on rocks why were paintings drawn on rocks the answer is the people lived in caves drew paintings on rocks to record their activities the people lived in caves drew paintings in rocks to record their activities some people stayed back without joining the hunting team for them for their benefit these rock paintings were drawn some people stayed back without joining the hunting team 
for their benefit these rock paintings were drawn pictures were drawn as part of their pastime pictures were drawn as part of their pastime the people lived in caves drew paintings on rocks to record their activities some people stayed back without joining the hunting team for their benefits these rock paintings were drawn pictures were drawn as part of their pastime question number 8 name any two artifacts name any two artifacts an artifact could be an object made or shaped by human hand the artifact are pottery and stone tools pottery and stone tools question number 8 hots how dogs were useful to prehistoric men how dogs were useful to prehistoric men the answer is there might have been chances of wild animals entering their caves but dogs could help them prevent the entry of such dangerous animals by its sniffing skill hence they started domesticating dogs for their protection and hunting activities there might have been chances of wild animals entering their caves but dogs could help them to prevent the entry of such dangerous animals by its sniffing skill hence they started domesticating dogs for their protection and hunting activities that's all for today's session my dear children for more videos and solutions please subscribe and share our youtube channel youtube.com/onlinecbseclasses thank you for watching take care thank you for watching this video for more videos and book back question and answers please subscribe our youtube channel youtube.com/onlinecbseclasses